Hi everybody, this is Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot Reading and today I'm going to do a reading for the sign of Capricorn and this is intended to be from June 1st to about the 15th but with all the chaos going on um, it's more like the 5th to the 15th it's been really kind of a crazy time in our world so this is the June 2020 Hope it resonates for you. This is for the Capricorn Sun and Moon sign. If it doesn't resonate for you, remember it's a general reading and try watching your other signs. Um, we'll get going here pretty soon. We're going to do some weekly energies from the Oracle cards and then we'll do your general read. Let's start here. This is messages from the fairies. From the magical times from the Lightworker Oracle. And maybe we'll go into some personalities that you might encounter along the way with the chrysalis after a while. Or maybe even the deviants, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna start with the energies of the week for you are, wow, okay. We've got go outside, it's time to go outside. Um, go for the powerful piece of nature, wherever you are, and feel at one with your habitat. I know that's tricky in these days of Corona, but getting just a little bit of nature outside and some fresh air is great. Um, if you are inside a lot, then maybe put some nature in and around you, plants, flowers, open a window, let the breezes through, breathe again. Gratitude. Be grateful for abundance. Live in appreciation for what you have and more good things will come. So, so true. Gorgeous card. Gorgeous. So, so true. Keepers of the earth, you're not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. This is gorgeous too. It shows the woman and then like angelic guides or maybe that's her angel squad or her ancestors, grandmother, mother, whoever supporting her. Awesome. Okay, Capricorn. Those are the energies surrounding you this week. And we are gonna start with some tarot. Whoa, let me shuffle a little bit and we'll see what we've got going on for you. And this is a week-ish, so bear in mind, it's, it's meant to be through the 15th. Some of this might be familiar because you've experienced already. Some of it might be coming up for you still. So we'll give it three shuffles and then we'll pull your cards. Okay, let's get all these excess out of the way. So what we're seeing in the position of you now is the Five of Pentacles. It's a card of separateness from the traditional route. It's a card where you're feeling perhaps a sense of lack. Um, maybe your resources seem a little off kilter and out of balance. It's a time where some people feel left out in the cold, very distanced. So that's what you've been experiencing right now. We're in early June. Something that is driving you or that you're knowing is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords energy is all about emotional battles, um, being a little too right, fighting about something and being so right that you have to win and the battle is very costly. So this is one where Ideas and thoughts are going around and swords are all about thoughts, intellect, that kind of thing. And if you have the two and they're very, very, very balanced, the three is the creation of a new. It might feel off balance, it might feel awkward, maybe even a little clumsy, but it could get arguments going. So be, be aware of that. 
perhaps there's a need for you to share something with someone and maybe your personality might be inclined to share it in a little bit of an overpowering way and you don't have to go that route you might know a truth you want to share with others don't let it drive you to drive them away um, the three of cups energy is here for you and that's something that's benefiting you this week three of cups is all about celebration friendship party happy good times good friends and enjoying and pleasure so whatever this is perhaps this is starting to end it would certainly seem that if this knowing or knowledge or truth or knowing and rightness were to be balanced for you if you could get a handle on that and really be aware of that then you, it would lead you into a happier more positive type of time I mean that just makes sense I hope it makes sense all right then you have the three of pen Pentacles so you have two threes coming out and this three it's all about um, talents, resources, where this this five of talents is they're out of balance. This three is like the creation of something new. Sometimes you see a patron in this particular card. Look at her. She's sitting, really contemplating, really thinking about her resources and realizing that she has some and what does she want to do with them. So this could be a beginning of a new time of resources or a new avenue, perhaps new career things, new talents, material, resources, time, perhaps some of your friends are going to help you figure out some time or resources coming up in the near future. This is a very good time. Very good. We might even clarify a little bit more on each of these. And then at the end here, as a possible outcome, is the star. And I love this. If you look close, you see her and you see the, the standing stones behind her and the bird. And the star is always a sign of hope. It's a sign of luck. Look for good omens. Um, Whatever it is that you look for that is your lucky thing you see, whether it's butterflies or birds or whatnot, feathers, you know what you're looking for. Look for those today. Look for those. They will be on your path. Okay, so we are going to see if we can clarify some of these for you. These is what I want to clarify. All right. Let's keep in the Llewellyn deck. This is the Llewellyn deck we're using. Whoa. Ace of Cups flew right out. Wow. Okay. To clarify, let's clarify. I really want to clarify that Three of Pentacles. All right. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles for the sign of Capricorn. Um, well, well, I guess it is going to jump. Okay. Holy moly. All right, guys. Wow. This might be clarifying both of those things. Okay, this is how I'm seeing it, guys. Um, clarifying the Five of Swords is the tower. It's a recent tower moment where all of the structures in life, all of the foundations, all of the known variables that maybe you've counted on for years and years or society has even counted on for years and years are crumbling, being disassembled, um, being taken down and rearranged, maybe even totally shattered. Epiphanies like lightning bolts strike into the mind and things have to change. It's just inevitable. It's, it's no longer a choice. It's something has to change. And so that probably has already happened in through here. And maybe in through here, if, if this is if this is past in this read, situation now and past since my timing is just a little late in the reading. And then five of swords moment leading into three of cups and celebration. Then you have this knight charging forward. Look at how great he is. And it seems to me he's charging forward and he's somehow connected with these two cards you have the group of friends celebrating the night charging more towards them so whatever this is whoever these friendships are that you would celebrate those friendships your tribe so to speak i think go to them go to them charge forward but not obnoxiously okay just um charge forward with truth and knowledge but also lots of love and appreciation for those who surround you then take the moment then take the moment for yourself to think and figure how you want to use your talents and resources and how to harmonize those in your world 
then you have death coming in and it's almost like this and this this has happened and this is the final closure and transition of that so this would be death rolls in and usually there's a white rose or white something and then this deck is right through here you see all the white little dogs running around and deaths on the white horse even but basically end of a cycle significant end of a cycle and beginning of a new one so this whatever this energy is i think it's closing out this is what's coming in and when you allow for whatever this energy was to be gone to close to dismiss that i wouldn't even say dysfunctional i would just say no longer useful outmoded outdated pattern when you allow for that pattern to be released set free then the star kicks in major i mean you've got a lot of major arcana in here right now a lot and then you have the ace of cups again coming in totally abundance love emotion overflow and the ace of cups also in a caution says don't be so over emotional that you're looking to pick a fight or that you're letting your emotions or hormones perhaps get the better of you not that necessarily that everyone would be prone to that but some of us are sometimes i am so don't let your emotions overflow but tune into them if they're helping your intuition pay special attention they pay special attention right now all right I did want to look in the chrysalis deck and see um, who are the people and personalities and traits of your personality even that might be apparent right now for you or might come into your field or your energy. Um, this is just the major arcana and the court cards from the chrysalis deck. And I love how they're illustrated in these particular aspects. And I think they're great for showing us and reflecting different people we might encounter. So we're going to draw, well, we'll draw one for you, one for a friend, and maybe one for the energy. And we'll see how it comes up. This is what this three is supposed to be all about. So let's close these in a little tighter so you can see them more. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. You are really getting the message to close something out for sure. Here's Ariadne in this deck representing death again so this is the major arcana that you really really pay attention to whatever it is that you're supposed to be closing out or letting go of let that cleansing happen let go of it if you need to have a good cry um if you need to have a little bit of a meltdown if you need to do a cleansing bath or a cleansing ritual or take some time alone to yourself to do your thing to get in your groove whether it's gardening for me i love knitting yarns everywhere those kinds of things do what it is that gets you into your groove and into your zone. One second. Air conditioning, sorry. Okay, so whatever it is that gets you in your zone, pay attention to that energy this week. Also, you have showing very strongly the High Priestess card. Again, about intuition. The star, very intuition. But both of these cards are very psychic, inner guidance, inner knowing mystery type cards very mysteries of what you're knowing it might be stuff you came to earth already knowing that you've never necessarily learned in this life but you know it to the bone high priestess has the knowing because she's earned it and it may be something totally before you even were born star card hope again tuning into that psychic energy balancing the cosmos with the earth plane so the universe with the current water energies the field of emotion going on just beautiful then you have the pilgrim <laughs> the pilgrim of scrolls which is the page of swords so you have the page of swords and the knight of swords around here so the page of swords in this deck is the pilgrim she's going forward seeking knowledge taking her journey striking out she has some knowledge she's ready to go she doesn't know everything yet she's ready to learn um, younger than this one, the knight who's ready to go on a mission, go questing, go take charge. Balance both of these energies, these, around these friends that are coming up for you. Balance those. And you'll know who in your, in your realm, in your influence, who is there to help you close out a cycle? Who is there that helps you let go of things or what traits that you might need to let go of or friends that maybe 
are friends for a different time or a different era, you may not see as often, you'll know what lessons you are to be seeking and to be learning. That knowledge and truth is right there inside, just as clear as day. I mean, it's very powerful knowing that you have already within you. You have emotional energy, feelings, love, overabundant, flowing over the cup, the cup runneth over, overflow, excess, huge abundance around you. This is a great, you're gonna have a great time. It might be a little tricky to navigate, I would say, a little tricky. But this is a great time, a great time. I would think you could let go of these. I would think this, whatever this is, take this tower moment as a lesson to reevaluate, reevaluate. You might have to go outside, but in this car, people think, oh no, separate and outside, but look, there's two people. You're not alone. You do have people in your tribe nearby. Just really a great one, a great one. Focus on this. Allow for this. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take one more of the Oracle cards. I think we're going to take one more of the, the Lightworkers deck. I love the, the messages on this deck. The art is very pastel and um, the messages on this deck just seem whoa on point this says birthing a new age birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being okay i think that really hits home i think that's on point with what we're talking about listen to your intuition listen to the ancestors angels and guides be grateful have gratitude what you focus on you get more of go outside get fresh breath fresh air fresh thinking fresh mindset birthing of a new age. Yeah, really get into your higher self. This is a great time to turn to that part of you and part of your friends for help and guidance. You're going to have a great time. I hope this was helpful for you and we will see you again probably after the 15th and we'll do some more readings then, but have a good one. I hope you have a wonderful weekish, 10 days-ish, whatever that might be. Come see me again. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Tell your friends. Thanks. Bye.